One day, three goddesses went to the house of a simple university student. The three were able to use a variety of powers in order to help people. This story is about them using one of those powers, the ability to become small. How convenient it is to be small. Fortune telling. It's springtime. A hundred flowers are blossoming. One day the spring of love will come to me. Oh, I wonder what kind of girl I'll fall in love with in the future. At your service! <laughs> I'm a fortune teller, proud to boast nothing less than a perfect record. What? Where did you come from? <laughs> Never mind that. Oh! <gasps> You must be real with a crystal ball! That's right. Well then, let's see what the future has in store for you, Ganjan. But before we begin, you have to tell me what your ideal type is. Why, I want someone who'll melt to the core of my being, sizzling my spirit with glowing embers of love, and make my heart and soul burn with passion! Leave it to me. So then the crystal ball is just for show? <clears throat> Let's not get all hung up on details. Here we go! Ha! <sighs> Here it is. Voila! Lighter, burning passion. What do you mean? Hmm? Fire! 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 I'm on fire! I'm burning! <laughs> what a terrible experience. At your service! What do you mean, at your service? <laughs> I kind of made a tiny little mistake with the last one. I'll just do it over for you again. Didn't you say you had a perfect record? Oh, now, come on. Let's not get all hung up on details. So let's try it again. Wait a minute! I just changed my ideal type. At times nice and gooey, and at times soft and sweet, it would bring out my carnal desire and take me to a world of golden sweetness. All right, all right, leave it to me. Huh? <sighs> There it is, voila! Honey! What? Honey! Wait a minute! Wait! Here's your world of sweet, sticky, golden carnal desire. Your fortune telling is completely useless! Useless? All right. Enough goofing around? Let's get into some serious fortune telling now! So you were just goofing around with me? So. The same ideal type as before, right? I'm changing it. I want someone who is divine, tolerant, with a warm spirit, but at times nice and cool. All mm. right, I'm serious this time. You're going to have to be responsible for your fate. Abracadabra. Ha! Whoa! Voila! Teapot. And before God, I pronounce you husband and wife. <gasps> Congratulations. Congratulations on your wedding, Ganchan and Teapot! Congratulations! And so it was the beginning of Ganchan and Teapot's sweet life as newlyweds. Mm. <sighs> no! No, my wife is not. My wife is not. Something that just sits still. Ta da! Leave this to me. There. Have some tea, my dear. No! no! It's not just a matter of being able to move. Besides, why in the world are you doing her voice? <laughs> you figured it out? Oh, if you're gonna use a voice, I'd prefer Bell Dandies. Did you call my name? Oh, Miss Bell Dandy! Oh, Miss Bell Dandy! Uh, really? uh, Look, you've got to stay out of the newlyweds' lives. Oh, is that what this is? Well, congratulations, Ganchan. Huh? You better not cheat mm. on your wife. Uh, Dear, your bath is ready. So why are you the one doing her voice? Am I not good enough for her? You ingrate! If it's gotta be this way, then I... then I want to hear my dear Teapot's own voice. Well, well. 
I see you're finally coming to your senses. Yes. All right, let's do it. There. Well, uh, Ganchen? Yeah? I don't know how to say this, but I'm already in love with someone. Huh? I'm going to run off with my first and true love, Mr. Kettle. Goodbye! <laughs> and so this was the end of Ganchan and Miss Teapot's sweet life as newlyweds. What a lovely little story. There's nothing lovely about this!